This game is still alive, but only just. Goalie goes down the ground. Goalie goes out of the ground. What a twist. Are we seeing a cricket match or what? There he goes. That's the biggest of them all. Just recently, I was at my favorite JPOC, the MH Damaram Stadium. And I say favorite because I've got very happy memories. Good things have happened to me there. Wonderful moments that I've been happy to broadcast upon. Nice people that I've met there. So I like going to, uh, to Chepok. But what I saw there was such an eye-opener for me, such a revelation for me. There's three runs to win, a third wicket falls, and normally, I mean, MS Dhoni doesn't come into bat at such a situation like this. All of a sudden, there is this noise that's rising to a crescendo and out comes MS Dhoni. Now, I've been very fortunate over the years to have seen genuine fan outpourings over the years, but this, this was something else. It didn't seem to me like it was a celebration for an athlete. I don't know how it used to be in the days of M.G. Ramachandran or N.T. Ramarao where I was growing up in Hyderabad, maybe a Shah Rukh Khan, a Rajni Khan, that kind of stuff, an Amitabh Bachchan, where you're almost willing to let go of reality to see this celluloid star in your midst. But this was an athlete, this was a sports person, a cricketer, someone was trying to get him out. But the emotion that day was, was just incredible. And I got the feeling as I was watching it, that maybe on this farewell tour of MS Dhoni, yeah, before you jump to a conclusion and form a headline about me calling it a farewell tour, that's what I suspect it is. I just think, based on what Dhoni told me right at the end of last season, that he's enjoying this relationship with the crowd. He wants to feel the vibe of the crowd too. You know, you can be emotionless, you can be very calm, but deep down you enjoy, don't you? So I just, I, I think he's letting the crowd enjoy the moment. He's letting himself enjoy the moment. He was never going to come and play a big shot, just a little one here, a little one there. But the crowd had their vision of their hero. MS Dhoni and Chepok is a relationship that I don't think I will ever get over. And, and, and that day was, in spite of all these years, just an eye-opener. Chepok is, is, is just a different place. I mean, earlier in the day, they had applauded Andrew Russell when he came out to bat. It's, it's just a completely different vibe and I'm so happy to see, as with the Russell incident, that as one generation gives way to another, that has not changed in Chennai. The, the vibe, it's, it's, it's a word, I, I, I don't know if it conveys the meaning completely, but the vibe in, in Chennai is something else, especially around the IPL. And so I thought I'd look around and, and see what the relationship of a fan with the other centers is. And the only thing that comes close is, um, is Mumbai Indians and the One Keda. It's a different shade of blue. And a couple of days ago, I, I walked into the One Keda Stadium from the player's side, walking across to go to the commentary box, and I saw a scene I'd seen so many times before. It was, it was just one color, blue everywhere, flags waving, and I wonder what it must be to, to be the opposition. Mumbai is a bit like that. Bangalore and the RCB. Uh, the Chinnaswamy Stadium, in all fairness, isn't, isn't the best-looking stadium in the world once you enter. But when RCB played there, they just painted all in red. I don't know why they've gone a little bit blue this time. RCB, to me, is always red. And the red and the way they do up the stadium and the crowd involved uh, gets involved, it is, it is a fantastic sight. To me, the three sites, and that's why I've put those three up first, are the yellow of Chennai, the blue of Mumbai, and the red of Bangalore. Uh, what about the other grounds? I was delighted to see in my old hometown, in Uppal, where the, the area we used to go as kids cycling around, there was nothing there, of course, and the orange that I saw. It's a big stadium, 50, 60,000. They call themselves the Orange Army, and the last few years, uh, the crowd support is really building up, and this year, orange was fantastic. But you know what? After the game got over, I, I met a few people I know from uh, the Sunrisers camp and I was telling them, it seems to me that this clannishness, tribalism in, in a different sense of the word, which is at the heart and soul of every successful league, the fandom that comes and the demonstration of that fandom. I said I was so happy to see that happening in Hyderabad and they sort of pulled a face and said, just wait for the next game because, you know, tickets went on sale and within two hours, the tickets were sold out and we came to know that all the tickets have been bought by CSK fans. And sure as ever, when CSK played SRH, 
it was about 75% yellow as it was at Visakhapatnam where uh, where Ricky Ponting just shrugged and looked around like Nasir Hussain once had in Bristol and said who's the home team here so it, it, it's a yellow year at the IPL this year but I was delighted to see the orange there as well one other ground does that maybe it was slightly lesser extent than the first three and and that is uh, KKR at the Eden Gardens I don't know if it's still the same that it was in the early years because I remember in the very first year Shah Rukh came down from where he was sitting in one of the corporate boxes and he came down around the dugout and the DJ started to play Korbulod Bojit Bore Kor, you know well, the first year of the IPL had Ala Re Korbulod Bojit it was fantastic anthems and he started singing and dancing to that and the entire crowd joined along and that that purple and gold especially when Shah Rukh is around is, is a completely different vibe too so um, KKR joins those three. I'm happy that Hyderabad is coming there with Gujarat and Lucknow. It's still early days. Uh, so you, you don't actually just see that happening. That leaves Punjab. And for some reason, I don't know, Punjab has, has never really been, wow, come let's go and watch the Kings 11 crowd support Punjab. Uh, their most enthusiastic supporter is Preeti Zinta. She does a magnificent job. She's a talisman. She's a cheerleader of that side. And, and she does a really good job. But Punjab hasn't quite in all these years. Maybe in the new stadium in Mullapur, we'll see that. Jaipur, unfortunately, you know, some years they've not had a game there. It's a smallish ground. Under Shane Warne, they made it their fortress for a little while. All the pink used to be around. Hopefully, it'll gather again. The, the, the side is doing really well. It'll give Jaipur an identity. And Delhi, Delhi is the peculiar one for me. I've been going to Delhi. I've done so many IPL games in Delhi. There was one year where Delhi could not qualify and still had to play two home games. Both were sold out. Absolutely. It was, it was amazing. Both were sold out. But... It's always full, but when you enter the stadium, you don't get the feeling that you're entering a Delhi fortress. They've all come to watch the game, but you don't get the feeling you're entering a Delhi fortress the way you do when you enter in Bangalore or when you enter in Chennai or in Mumbai or in Kolkata or more and more these days in, in Hyderabad. So I like this vibe. I like this vibe around the stadium. I like the emotion that the fans are coming through. And with every passing year, the association of the fan with her club, with his club, is just growing stronger and stronger. It might lead to social media battles that are not always uh, very nice, very kind, but this association of the fan with the franchise is what makes the league powerful and I'm delighted to see that. And to be honest, I don't know if I will see the kind of scenes that I saw when MS Dhoni walked out to bat with three left to win. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to this channel.